everybody. Let me just finish getting set up here and we'll get started on this month Club Couture, which is exciting. Everybody's loving it. Well, most everybody. Let me find myself here. Here we are. And I gotta check to make sure my head isn't cut off. It kinda is, so maybe I'll adjust the camera a little bit. camera stand the other day when I was using my Cricut maker <laughs> I sit closer okay share that to my personal page perfect okay um we'll show you the picture this is what uh, Chalk Couture shows what we can do with our monthly transfer, um, which has the words celebrate or freedom, or you can use them together. And it's got these cute little pinwheels. One of them's got a star pattern, one has stripes, and one has a plaid. So it's super adorable. And you see they've used them in here, the plaid, the stars, and the stripes. And if you don't know what Club Couture is, I'm going to put this back on myself. It is a subscription for Chalk Couture that only costs 20 bucks, $19.99 a month. You get free shipping. And you have the pleasure of chalking and creating every month. Which is why I titled this, um, Mom, Look What I Made. Why? Because remember the excitement you got when you were a kid and you made something and you were so excited to show your mom or your dad, grandma, whoever. And you might remember that with your own kids and grandkids telling you the same thing. Well, I think that's a good thing, even as whether you're five, 55 or 105, that you're excited about something you make and how great it, it uh, makes you feel. Um, and that's what's wonderful about Chalk Couture, is that it's not difficult, and you still get to design and create your own pattern. Let me see if I can get my camera up a little bit. Um, make your color choices, your surface choice. Um, you can use it on fabric, you can use it on hard surfaces, whether you're using your paste or your ink. So there's lots of choices you have to make to personally design with a transfer. And that's what's great about it. Um, you may think, oh, pinwheels, what am I going to do with pinwheels, you know? If it's not something that you personally want to keep in your home, make it for a gift for a little kid or something. They would be, this would be so adorable on a shirt. I saw where another designer just used one pinwheel up on the top and put the word freedom on a little girl's red tank top. So cute. I mean, you can give these as gifts, you can make them for yourself. And when someone says, wow, you made that, that is like the best feeling ever. When you can say, yes, I made that. So, and you, you remember how it was when you were a kid or your kids uh, came to you and they were so proud of their projects. And that is just the feel good feeling that um, I want my customers to enjoy about Chalk Couture because it is a feel good feeling. And <clears throat> I've always loved creating. Uh, whether it was with my store when I had to create a uh, vignette areas or display my merchandise that I picked out uh, You know hundreds and thousands of Items I've picked up through the years in my store and how I put them together and create a look or an image For people to enjoy and come into my store and enjoy and that was a good feeling when they thought wow You know this store is really pretty. I've never been here before. It's the same thing when you design or create anything it's just a great feeling and um you know albert einstein said creativity is intelligence having fun so that's how i have my fun 
is by creating. And I think anybody can do this and anybody can create with Chalk Couture. And one easy way is to join the club because you're gonna not have to worry about picking out a transfer. It's gonna come to you. It's only exclusive to the club members or us designers. And you know we get it so we can share it with you uh, on how much fun it is to create. It's usually something trendy or in season. So they're easy to work with. And let's get started. When you become a club member, you get the transfer once a month plus three sample packets and everybody will get the same colors. This month it was Peony, Candy Apple, and Forget-Me-Not. So definitely you could go the patriotic route, you know, and do Celebrate Freedom or just Freedom and kind of do a patriotic thing. Or you can just make it fun and cute, like for birthdays or um, just something for your patio, which is wh what I'm gonna gear towards. I'm gonna change the colors and use the colors that's in my furniture and pillows out on my patio. And I thought I would use this cute little tray. I got this at Target. It's just for decorative purposes only, but I thought it'd be cute to set on my coffee table out uh, around my outdoor furniture and put the little pinwheels on and put uh, celebrate. So I'm not gonna gear it towards the 4th of July, just summer in general. And um, I probably wanna run a little bit of wax on this. I like to wax surfaces, especially hard surfaces that are not chalk couture because they will let your transfer pick up easier and I'm trying to find my can opener and um, protect the, the transfer from getting anything. But this is pretty clean. I don't think it would pick up anything you don't want. Where, oh, here it is. So I like to wax. I guess when you get used to doing it, you just want to do it. But you probably could be okay and not wax this. And I just use Min Wax Finishing Wax Paste. This is a clear, I mean, it's natural. It's not a tinted one which I have a tinted one. It just kind of fills in all the pores of the wood grain. And that way we'll get a better image after we chalk. You don't need a lot, just a thin, 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 and just rub it in. So if you're here, say hello. And as usual, I can never see the comments. There they are. Oh, Brooke and Mom and Sherry, Joyce, Amy. Oops, it went away again. Beverly, Don. You can tell Summer's here. Maybe more people are able to watch. Okay, so we have it waxed. And sometimes you can wait a little while, but I'm just gonna go right into it. I think we'll be all right. We're gonna take this. My mom's probably going, why did she say, mom, look what I made <laughs> on the title of my live. I keep this, don't throw away your package. When we're done, we put everything back in the package and let's cut apart the pieces. So when you join the club, you have the opportunity to buy the previous month transfer. You also have the opportunity to buy a starter kit, um, which would be two chalkboard surfaces from Chalk Couture, board erasers, which I don't have any on here because I they're all in my buckets to take to the craft show. Um, board erasers, squeegee, multiple tool you're going to get a thing of white paste so you will have white paste all the time and that's about it i think so and that's the savings i think you save about seven bucks if you buy the starter kit 
which is a good deal because then you always have a surface to, to um, create on instead of going out to find one. Because Why you always will? Because you can wash off your designs and recreate with Chalk Couture. So the chalk paste is what we're gonna be using. It is washable, removable, I should say. So you can redesign, recreate. Design, love, repeat. That's one of our sayings. We got two stems for the pinwheels, short and tall. A big center for the middle of the pin, which I thought I'd do in silver. So you got the solid. So it's going to be a layering. You're going to put this one down first with your back color of your pinwheel and then the pattern on top of it. And it has these little dots up here. Those are, you want to chalk those two. And then when you peel this off, you'll match these right on top of the markings that you just made. That way your pinwheel will be lined up perfectly. So that's definitely something you want to do on a chalkboard, but not if you're doing fabric uh, with ink, because that would be permanent and you won't be able to get those off. So when you're first starting out, this is a good way to do is use the markings to help you line everything up. So I'm thinking about putting about three pinwheels over here and the word celebrate. I wanna make sure you can see. This is the package that you would get in the mail with your transfer and paste in it. This is what it looks like. So it's exciting to get it. And usually we don't know what the transfer will be until the first of the month and then they announce it. So <clears throat> it's always a surprise, which is fun. So look, okay, let's think celebrate, do some pinwheels right in here. I'm trying to keep it all on the chalkboard. So I probably won't be able to make this one quite as long and we'll see what happens. But I chose the colors that are in the pillows of my furniture outside, which is more blues and greens. So mine won't be necessarily patriotic. But just for summer. I love pinwheels. I usually try to get the grandkids a pinwheel every summer. This paste has gotten a little dry, a little thick. So I'm going to spritz some water in it and rehydrate it. Which is what's great about it. Because you want to be able to spread that on over your transfer. So it needs to be like a soft yogurt consistency or a soft frosting. Not too thick, not too thin. When you get these paste packets, they're usually right on point with the consistency you want. You just want to massage it a little bit, get it mixed in really well, and then just squirt some out. You could put it in a little dish, or I would just put some right on your squeegee so you're not wasting. That way you can still have some paste left in your packet to create another project if you want to. Because every month you're going to get different colors, and then if you can save it, then maybe you can have some colors. And then when you really get into chalking, you want to go ahead and buy the tubs. And they last a really long time. Because it doesn't take much to make a project. So let me see if you have any questions. Becky says hello. Beverly says hi. Don says hello. Hello, hello. How's everyone doing? I think you guys are pretty much all designers, maybe. Is that right? Becky, I don't know if you are. Lot, yeah, you're probably a Beverly and Don. If you are designers, say I'm a designer and let me know 
if you have created your pinwheels yet. You know, if it's something you don't like, some people will say, I don't really like that transfer because you don't know what you're going to get, right? You didn't get to pick it out. My, my first question always is, what can I do with that transfer? What can I make? What, what other transfers can I mix with it to create uh, my own design? Um, maybe you just want to add different words to it or uh, use these words with something else. So I, I always think what I always try to think outside the box. Like what else can I do? What else can I create besides what is given to me? And maybe everybody does that. But <clears throat> uh, when I get done with this, and I'm definitely moving on to I have some ideas of what to do with the pinwheels with other transfers. So I'm going to be creating those the next few days. To show you what you can do. I guess I should have prepped my paste before I went on <laughs> on the air. Let me get these mixed in. I forgot that I left um, the paste I took to Vintage Market Days for demonstrating are all upstairs still in the garage. So I'm just using the paste that I have down here, which I have still have tons of paste down here, but I haven't obviously used these two colors in a while because they're still pretty thick. And it's too thick to work with, so I'm going to work some more water in. The thicker your paste is, the faster it will dry in your silk screen, like super fast. And then it'll stick to your silk screen instead of sticking to your board. And so when you pick up your transfer, you wouldn't have anything or part of your pattern might be gone out of your design. So you wanna make sure it's the right consistency so it goes through the transfer and not too thick, just to set there on top. Okay. And I'm not, especially my good white. It is definitely stairs. So I apologize for having to take some time to do this. Let's see if you all said anything. We are, we are, we all going to chalk on. I'm going to chalk on. I don't know if everybody else is. And one of my team members going. ChalkCon, for those of you that are not designers, is our annual convention at the end of this month, last weekend. And I believe there's going to be over a thousand Chalkateur designers there. I think maybe 1,200 because they we just opened in Canada, so there's some Canadians that are coming. So it's going to be fun. I have one of my team members going that we're sharing the room. It's a Dallas. Oh. I'm making a mess. Um, yeah, so I'll be flying down there on Thursday morning and then going to the leaders meeting in the afternoon. Okay, grab a paper towel. Well, I wish our comments would stay up. Don is going, Becky's not going. I didn't go last year. I, I had a wedding I had to be at last year, so I wasn't able to go. And last year was the first con uh, convention because Chocotour was only a year old last year. Now it's about to turn two. First of July, it'll be two years old. As far as being a out in the public company. Okay, we're pretty good. I just don't have the silver, but that's all right. Okay, let's do some pinwheels. This is the little stem, I think. 
I'm going to be able to, I'm not even fuzzing my, it's all pretty down, that's all right. I'm getting fuzzy, because the wax I think will be all right. Normally when you work with a new transfer, you want to put some fuzz on the back, but see how easy it fills up? And that's because I applied wax. That also helps with that. So, question is, should I do these all in white or what? Oh, that one even tied. <clears throat> I also want to keep it right on the chalkboard. So, I'm going to have to come down. going to put mine you could put them straight up and down but I'm gonna put mine just kind of tilty a little bit I really haven't thought too much about this but <clears throat> I'll just do one in each color Usually I think a little bit more through, through it before I start working, but I'm just going to wing it. So we applied some paste onto our squeegee and then we just run it down across the silk screen and then you want to skim it down, get all the extra paste off, put it back in your jar and then pin, peel up the sticker, which is a sticker, there's a sticky back. All right, then I'm gonna go ahead and put it over here to maybe that one a little bit more straight maybe. It takes so little paste. So I know there's plenty in those packets. Okay, we got our light blue and our dark blue. We'll put green in the middle. And I want to bring it down to that point of the end of the chalkboard. I don't want it to go over the chalkboard. Start down there. And the lefty, I can kind of do it with both hands, but I want you to be able to see. Just taking up the extra. If I don't, it's a waste and you're just putting it in the water and putting it down the drain, so. Take the extra time and take it off. Okay, now we gotta let those dry. Let's see, any more questions? Becky went last year. Was it fun? I bet it was. It looked like it was fun. I think now is like um, over twice as many people will be at this one, so it's gonna be crazy. All right, I could get the blow dryer. I'll probably do celebrate in the white. We'll see, we'll let it right down here. These were only three three bucks at Target and it had a nasty sticker right here and I had to take some time to get that off. But I don't know why they do that. Put them on the back, you know? paste down here in the corner. I'm just going to take the Clorox wipe and wipe it off. I 
Another good reason to wax is that it'll come off easier if you do um, make a mistake or don't like something where it's at. And it'll also be easier to take these um, markings that I was telling you about. Those will come off easier by waxing first. <clears throat> okay, so let's line this up. I want the, my stick to go right up in there. So it looks like it's holding the pinwheel. So I can see that through the transfer. I'm just making sure there's no air pockets, especially on bigger transfers, you wanna make sure. And I'm gonna do the little markings so you can see what I'm talking about, how, why they're such an advantage to have. Um, so let's put green. On the inside, I think. Again, just make sure the screening in area is filled in. So we are squeegeeing over a silk screen fabric, which allows the paste to go through. And we're gonna scrape it down with the extra. I had the opportunity to be at the Vintage Market Days of Omaha this past weekend. And I had a big demo board doing the handheld bouquet. And everybody got to, um, I think I want to do white on that. Got to um, put a flower on that wanted to. And it was so fun watching their faces when they were amazed at how easy it is to do. I have a couple videos of people doing it. There, okay, so let me show you. Little marks there, and that is so I can line up the next layer, which also has the marks, and I'll put them right on top of those marks, so it'll perfectly align the pinwheel layers. That makes sense, okay? A lot of our layering now has those markings to help you out. I'm gonna go ahead and do the others. Maybe I should wash it, because I'm gonna do white next. So let me just wash off the green. So I have a nice crisp white color. I don't wanna mix the green in with it. All right, I'm just gonna dry it on my towel real quick. In my lap. And so this one I probably want done in the light blue or the dark blue, either one. I'll do the light blue, and then I can just go dark blue without washing next. So I'm gonna go ahead and do my little white marks. So we will wash those off when we're done, because we don't want those little markings there on our finished board. I said I'm gonna do light blue. I'm gonna put the light blue on this layer. Let's do the dark blue. Oh, shoot, I have a dark blue stick. That's all right. <clears throat> Maybe I'll do white. White in the middle. My stick is dark blue, so I don't want, I want it to be different than the stick. So we'll do white. Get our little markings. Yeah, not marking. 
paint on the wood. All right. So now we can let that dry. And I think I can go ahead and put the word celebrate while those are drying. And go right over this stem of that pinwheel, which is fine. I feel a little bump under there. Okay, back to our white. This white's kind of chunky. Got chunks of chalk in it. But it'll smooth out as we squeegee over it. I'm skimming it down, picking up all the extra. The font actually has a little uh, um, texture to it. I mean, like uh, worn, like it's been worn. So it won't be a completely clear, crisp image. Let's see, I can see it, I'll hold it up. <laughs> Make sure you can see it. Yeah. Also on the light blue, well, the sticker, when I laid over for the white one, took some of the blue off. So I'm going to probably reapply the blue because some of it came off right here on the bottom of the sticker when I did the white piece. So I'm going to clean this off and reapply the blue again. Because I wasn't paying attention. And then I'm gonna put it between my two microfiber sides of my chalk towels to dry that quickly. So we better let that dry for a minute. Let me just blow dry it real quick. this because when I put the sticker the transfer on here the corner of it took some of the paste off of this one because it wasn't dry yet so I'm going to reapply the light blue just line it back up where it was Okay, so now we gotta dry again. So we got any more questions? Terry's watching, hi Terry, how are you? Good, 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 I hope. All right, let's dry that. This was our Club Couture uh, transfer for the month of May that everybody will 
should be receiving any day now. Those that are members, us designers have already received it, or it's in the mail, if you haven't. So now I'm gonna line up these little marks with these marks, and that will line up the pinwheel. So I can see, that's why I did them in white, so I can see it really well. Good thing I didn't because it's it would be hard to do because I can't really see that green. Sometimes you can see the paste through this blue fabric, but it's kind of hard to see. So I'm glad I did that. So we have green under. We have a light blue stick, so I need the dark blue paste on the top. And these are the stripes. We have stars. And we have the plaid. So if I do the stars next and the plaid on the end. I also saw where a designer, this was a cute idea, she used the stripes just on the three, and but then she did the star one up in the upper left corner. And of course in red, white, and blue. So it looked like a flag. And that was a cute idea. that up and we're done with that one looks cute next we should probably do oh that would be dark blue too hmm, hmm, hmm. or we can do white and then do green over here I don't want to do dark blue because that's dark blue so let's do white Let's see, plaid. Where is our plaid? Here it is. Okay. Love the pinwheels. I do too. Aren't they adorable? Just think of all the color combinations you can do for the summer. I wouldn't mind having big pinwheels, bigger ones. I think would be cute too. Oh, I'm scraping my white and the green. I'll wash that off. Mm, what I was thinking. Yeah. Okay. And there's that one. And now we need to do green. But I'm going to blow dry that so I don't mess up the petal again. Let's see, I kind of did it right there too. But it's not, you don't notice it so much. All right, let's blow dry. center button on when we're done. I could see me forgetting that. <laughs> so. Yes, yes, yes. All right, let's line up these and we're going to do this in the green. So I'm lining those little circles up.
Alrighty. Now we can get rid of these little marks because we got our layering done. So I'm just taking the Clorox wipe, picking them up. And they're coming up pretty easily because why? Because I waxed. It might have, even if I hadn't waxed, but I sure wouldn't want to found out after I've already got my design on and then I couldn't get them off. So there. Now we gotta blow dry again and we'll add the center button, which I was gonna do in silver, but could do them with the color too. Could do them with the color of the stick. That might be cute. Keep it all the same colors. I do this without washing and I am going to fuzz this a little bit so I don't pick up any of the I'm just going to place it on my towel put a little fuzz on the back because I don't want it picking up the paste I think we'll be all right so let's just do that and I think I will do it the color of the stick so this one will be light blue I want to go from light to dark I'm gonna go and then green on the end I think because I'm keeping the blue family first <clears throat> Over here we have the dark blue. And then we'll do the green. Got a little blue in there. Made it kind of a darker green. It's pretty, pretty cool. pretty much done guys I'm gonna dry it I'm actually gonna seal this in with wax just to protect it better I might even use a stain wax just to age it all a little bit I know it should be bright colors but um, I'm just gonna tone it down a little bit with the stain wax so let's blow dry it through that light blue so I'm gonna put on a dark color I guess I'll put the uh, blue on it maybe because it's kind of blending right into the pinwheel can't really see the button on it right there so let's change colors so I'm washing my transfer drying it Let's try uh, the dark blue. It's 
sometimes that will happen. If you do a light color on top of a dark color, the dark color will come through the light color. Like if you put white on top of a color, a darker color, it'll bleed through. Like you can see that color through it. So I'm just gonna put the dark blue on it. Should be all right. Blow dry again, and then we'll wax. Dark wax, huh? I may regret it. This is kind of a modern look. Let's see. Do it kind of lightly. This is really getting dry, this wax. I'm just going to rub it on lightly. Big chunk of wax here. Sometimes I think the stain wax just gives it um, some dimension to like eat these pinwheels. And then I'm gonna wax the actual wood too because it'll protect it a little bit. This will be outside, but it's in like in my veranda, so it's got a, a roof over it. Just this. Two sides are open. The side in the front is open, so it won't get uh, rained on or anything if I leave it out there. Unless we had a big monsoon, which could happen with this crazy weather we've been having. Okay. I believe we are done with this project. I'm going to be creating some more things with it. And I'll show them with you or share them with you on my page, but there it is. So I have it sealed in. Once the wax hardens and the paste hardens, it'll be pretty protected. So thanks for watching, guys. Remember, Club Couture. You could say, wow, look what I made. Mom. <laughs> hey, have a great day. Thanks for watching. Bye.